There it is, the brand new Typhon Grom. Today we're gonna take it out for the first drive. We're gonna do a speed test, we're gonna see how it jumps, and we're gonna run it through a variety of terrains and see how this little car does. Now, I'm in a little weather predicament here. It is like extremely windy, like gusts of 40 miles an hour, and then the next couple of days are calling for some storms. And I want to get this video out because it's a brand new car and I want to beat the crowd. So I'm going to do the best I can to bring you a good quality, honest video on the newest little car here. I hope you can hear me if not i guess i'm just gonna have to dub over this i really hope i don't have to i got the wind sock on the gopro but if you missed my uh unbox video go ahead and check it out but i mentioned i had this little adapter here to go from this little ec2 or yeah ic2 to an ic3 so one of the things you can do is use your smart battery checker here so and then the link for this will be in my amazon store there we have it a hundred percent and then we get all the smart telemetry that goes with it one battery charge all that but then the other thing is for somebody like me that has the smart chargers i can just use the smart charger instead of using that usb and i get a little more information that way so if you buy this and you have the equipment you might want to consider going that route <laughs> don't just bash blast Oh, let's turn this on. I love the clipless body. That's something really nice. Lawsuit by Traxxas pending. All right, let's check it out. We got speed. So what's your predictions in this one? <laughs> what the little car's gonna do? There it goes into the wind. Maybe the, uh, the wind pushing it this way will get him faster speed. <laughs> All right, let's see. 23. <laughs> uh, I think the WL toy has totally destroyed that thing in a uh, speed test. That's uh, pretty bouncy. Maybe it has to do, I added those uh, things to the back. Those spacers. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have. I only put these little ones in here, but we'll see how it ran out of the box now. Ah, it's still bouncy. Wow. See, this is one problem with this car. I've already had this happen a few times. It picks up every stick 
and it just uh, gets stuck on everything. Something I didn't have happen on the WL toys, I hate to say it. All right, let's get the ramp out. See how she jumps. All right, let's do a temp. 116, man, that's kind of hot. 118. 86 on the uh, ESC there. 120 on the little motor. 89 on the battery. Man, that's a. Uh, that's kind of warm. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, grass ain't its thing. <laughs> ah, that was pretty cool. So it ain't gonna clear the Valley of Doom here, but it can have some fun in it. I think the battery's about had it. So I don't know. There it goes. It really struggles in this grass. Let's see. Yeah, that's one thing, like running here through the grass, it's kind of getting stuck. Uh, it's not doing too good through there. All right, let's see. <laughs> it just doesn't have enough power. It just doesn't. It jumps okay, but uh, you know, it's nothing. Let me try to get a real run up on this thing. <gasps> Oop. Uh, my bad. Let's try. Yes, it, it ain't gonna backflip. It ain't gonna do any of that. I, I just laid on the throttle. It didn't even move. Okay, so it's got a little air control. I hit reverse for a second and it made it. I just wanted to see if it had a little bit it does not much so there's a little motor it's definitely not going to clear the valley of doom i mean it, it's, it's balanced it jumps good but that's about it uh well So, all right, it jumps. It, uh... So let's get out of the hurricane and uh, we'll go back to the shop and I'll give you my final thoughts on the little uh, Typhon Grom. So here it is, the little Typhon Grom. So final thoughts. Let's start with the remote. Even though it's got a wonky little bottom here that makes it, that makes it where it won't stand up, it's not a bad remote. It, feels really really nice it actually feels very well constructed it, it, it feels pretty good it's it's not a bad system it's just a shame that they give you the uh, really nice g2 battery that does have telemetry capabilities and there's no battery light there's no telemetry info exposed but the nice thing with these batteries especially for beginners is there is smart technology in here meaning that if you charge this up lipos don't like to be kept under a state of storage you know 30 40 percent something like that so there is technology in here that if you charge this thing up forget about it and leave it it will discharge itself down now you do need 
like the smart charger and that to adjust those settings but it is built in it'll discharge so really really nice that they add a g2 battery to this even though you can't use it the technology to self discharge and all that really really nice setup although i'm not really a fan of these little tiny connectors i just wish it was like the ic3 so that way we could just use it without adapters but the car what do i think of the car all in all, I think it's a really, it's a cool looking car. It, it seems like it's very, very well made. Like I mentioned earlier, the double A arms, the clipless body system. Uh, everything seems really nice. The, the, the one piece turnbuckles, uh, the plastic chassis, you know, some people prefer the metal, but you know, plastic is a little more forgiving, I, I feel. Um, the things I don't like, you know, the shocks, I do wish this was threaded instead of just uh, using these little collars and stuff like that. The one-piece ESC and receiver, I think, you know, we could have done that. And I don't feel like this fan is doing anything based on the motor temps that we got. I don't feel like this fan is doing much at all. It probably would have just been better off to mount something on top of the motor itself. Although, probably, yeah, I don't think room would have allowed that. It's a struggle in the full-size uh, Typhon to actually get a fan up here. So, just maybe a little bit more powerful fan. I don't know. But this motor did get pretty warm. Uh, let's see. What else are we talking about here? It's just, you know, like when I got the WL Toys car, I was really blown away with the power they got out of a brushless system, how fast the car was. So, even though I knew this had a 380, a real tiny motor, wow, uh, I thought maybe they would eke out a bit more power and this car would just have a little bit more kick. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, you can have some fun. It rips through the grass, but it, or the, the dirt and stuff, but it does struggle through the grass. If it gets caught up on a twig, it does get it stuck. So that it is a little limited into where you can run it. Uh, I do wish there was like a better brushed system in here but i knew that getting into it but i kind of had my hopes a little bit higher thinking it was arma that it would be tuned a little bit better but that being said i mean it's, it's not a bad car i'm not really sure who they market this for if this is more for children or for adults trying to get into the hobby uh, you know for kids it's really nice like uh, on the remote here you got your 75 50 percent power so you can throttle it back but this thing's not uh, that powerful as it is I mentioned in my review video too that if it is for kids I would like to see like maybe a little bit more bumper protection for these shocks these aren't very strong now Arma does offer some upgraded shocks for this car and I think here in the future I think we're going to be doing some electronics upgrades ourselves to see what kind of power we can get out of this little car so make sure you stay tuned for that subscribe and follow along as we uh, maybe try to tweak this car and make it a real competitor towards like my WL Toys a little brushed car. We'll see if we can't get this thing to be maybe as fast or even as fast as the brushless. Now at the price point of 140, and you got these guys here that come in at uh, about 90, 95 bucks. I paid for this, where you have uh, you actually have integrated lights here in the rear here on the cab so it's kind of cool but is this the same like a two-in-1 esc you do have a brushed motor but this thing is way faster than that uh, this one came with the same kind of like cheap charger but two lipo batteries uh, but, uh, and this one is the cheaper like five wire servo so it's kind of crappy but you do have metal shocks that are threaded like I said, I'm not doing a comparison, but I'm just I'm just showing you kind of what's out there and what you know could Arma have done something a little bit better in the same size kind of chassis environment? Yeah, I think they could have. I think they could have because hands down, I think speed and all that. This car is gonna this car wins as far as speed and I think this thing you know this one here is pretty dang durable. It's a lot of metal in it, so. You know, it's just something to consider when you're spending your money. You know, this car's... Uh, I thought it had... 
No, I thought it had anti sway bars, but not this one. I think it's the other one does, but you know, all in all, like I said, for, for a little bit less money, and for $105, you can get kind of the same thing a little bit bigger with a brushed system and a separate ESC and receiver. So, and I think this is the market. This is the reason I bring it up. I think this is the market that Arm is trying to target with these cars. Now, I compared around the hobby gray cars. There's really not a whole lot out there. Red Cat Racing is about the only one out there that kind of comes close to something like this in the price range. And that actually doesn't look like a bad system in itself. Now, the great thing with Arma, these are sold in hobby stores everywhere. You, plenty of stores online. You can get it. Um, and you have a two-year warranty, so that's kind of hard to beat on that so if you do break anything on here two years in my experience dealing with uh, horizon hobby on any of their products has been outstanding anytime i've needed help now no granted like if i jump a car and i, I take the landing wrong and i end up snapping something off the back you know i just buy that piece i don't try to claim stuff that's not bad but you know if something breaks if something doesn't work you know call them up and I have not had any problems dealing with them. So Horizon Hobby, which owns Arma and all the other brands, they've been really, really good to work with. So that's maybe helped justify the extra expense of this car. Like I said, I don't tell you one way or another to buy the car, not to buy the car. I don't know what your preference is for price or performance or any of that. I can just offer and show you how the car performs on video and kind of describe it the best I can to you. So I can hopefully help you make an informed decision as to if the cars that I review are the right ones for you. So nothing's uh, negative or complaining that, you know, maybe some of it's a little bit like, you know, I prefer the clipless system. Maybe some people don't. I prefer it, but, you know, I try to just try to keep a middle ground and keep the opinions to a minimum and just kind of share my experience of the car. Like what I see, like running through the grass, we did get some high motor temps. So that's something to point out. Maybe that's where you plan on running it. That could be an important decision for you in buying this thing. But like as far as jumping, I think, you know, this is a really lightweight car. It really jumped. It jumped very well. There's not a lot of air control in it because it just doesn't have a lot of instant power on it. But I think this thing is pretty dang durable. It's going to take quite a beating uh, if you want to do lots and lots of jumps i think this i think it's going to hold up pretty good but there you have it the brand new arma typhon grom their low cost entry completely ready to run down to the four double a batteries for your remote battery really nice battery and charger so there you have it that's kind of my opinion i think it's actually you know pretty good car just lacking a little bit in performance i wish it was just a little more powerful but is what it is a 380 brush motor you can't expect miracles out of it so hope you enjoyed it hope you found us informative and entertaining and you'll subscribe and join us for more rc vehicle adventures we do a little bit of everything man we got some planes cars monster trucks everything so appreciate the support thanks for watching hope to see you on the next one